Hello to you, wherever you happen to be. Our action comes to you today from Villa Park. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Aston Villa facing Leicester City. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. Well, here's how Leicester City will line up. Kasper Schmeichel stands between the posts. Johnny Evans plays with Chalar Soyuncu in central defence. Wilfred Ndidi starts with Yuri Tielemans in the centre of midfield. And leading the line today is Jamie Vardy. Thank you, Villa Park. Enjoy the game. It could be a fascinating head-to-head -head confrontation, this. And Leicester City get the proceedings underway. Using his strength to shield the ball. Well, possibilities in the centre. And pull back. That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fan... Oh, judgment error by the keeper. And that pass could be troublesome. Well, they've managed to get away with it in the end, Stuart. Yeah, he's recovered it well, but that was a really poor mistake to start with. Unable to keep the ball that time. And back with Thomas. And foul it is then. He plays it short. It looks promising. Could be! And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Douglas Luiz. Matt Target. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Leicester doing well to win back possession. Oh, a nice looking pass. Ricardo Pereira. Lookman. Well, he's almost been hassled out of play here. Consa. Matty Cash. Again, well, they have the ball once more. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. And that's an important intervention. Luis Suarez enjoying acres of space. And a goal! One nil! Pushing for the opener, and now they have it. Well, here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed, but the finish is far too easy. He doesn't even have to jump. How has he afforded that much space? It's a tidy header, but really poor defending.
So underway again here. One nil the score. Tielemans. Johnny Evans with it. Lookman. They do pass the ball with authority. Going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. And the cross is very much on. McGinn. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. The delivery. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. James Madison. Tielemans. Zoyunchu has it. And a good looking ball. Lookman. He cuts it back. Can he play it in? Good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. Defensive efficiency personified. Well, as you can see, Villa are struggling to control possession, but they're counter Oh, they might score here, Stuart. And a goal! They've increased their lead, and they don't want to be throwing it away from here. Well, here's the replay. He's got such quick feet, hasn't he? Just look how he goes past his marker to get his shot away. That's a really good goal. Well, a second goal for them here. The Foxes moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Thomas. Chance to cross. Vardy. Happy to take on the shot. Well, able to close down the shot. Tielemans. And an astute piece of defending. Vardy. Well, the keeper has outdone himself. Wonderful save. <laughs> And a short corner here. Tielemans pulls it back. Now, this could really lift spirits. Now, the pass not finding its target. Lookman. Vardy. Lookman. This looks interesting. Terrific block. And he did well to cut it out. Has eyes for goal! And the keeper flings himself at the ball. And over it comes. And a struggle to get it away properly. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Will they profit from this situation? Coutinho, and thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. And following the clearance, it will be a corner. Who can they pick out? Great chance to make it a brace, but the keeper had his say. Well, he has to get a second goal soon. He's been brilliant today. Corner kick played in. Well, he took care of it defensively. John McGinn. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. 
gives it a go. And that's sound goalkeeping to hang on to the shot like that. That is that for the first half here. Not to be too blunt about it, Stuart, but this has been a struggle for him up front. Well, I've been disappointed with his game so far. As those touches show us, he just hasn't been getting into the right sort of areas. That's got to improve if they're to get back into this one. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Matty Cash. Tyrone Mings. Target with it. John McGinn. Strong but fair tackle. James Madison. Leicester now in a potentially dangerous position. Could pull one back here. And he does! He's thrown his team a lifeline. The belief is back. Well, as we see it again, he was never going to miss that, was he? That's a really simple finish in the end. Well, Leicester still trailing here, but this game very much a contest again. Matt Target. Cash, Douglas Luiz, McGinn, now Coutinho, well flinging himself at it, so the corner played into the box and no way through. It's come off the keeper. Oh, blocked it. Aware of the threat, solving the problem. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Vardy. Far from a good pass. In behind for him to chase. What a big chance that was. Keeper has the ball. Tyrone Mings. John McGinn. He takes aim. Great defending here. And able to get a body in the way. Disappointing for Leicester to give it away like that. The cross is on. Couldn't put it away. Offside, however. Well, he'll certainly be pleased to see the flag go up there because that was a poor miss. Substitution for Leicester City. Well, they've decided to make a change. Number 37, Adamola Lookman. To be replaced by number 17, Luis Perez. Evans. Here's Tielemans. Oh, lovely incisive pass. Magnificent stuff. And quite the comeback from two goals down. Well, here it is again, and I don't expect goalkeepers to save everything at their near post, but on this occasion, although it's a good strike, he should do better. So, underway again, and it's a story of parity. Two goals apiece on this one. Cash. 
Douglas Luiz. And here is Mings, working away patiently, looking for an opening. Well, honestly, I didn't mean to jinx them. Just wasn't a very good pass, finally. Ricardo Pereira. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. And into the last 20 minutes. John McGinn. Coutinho. Timely intervention. James Madison. A Jose Perez. And winning it back. Douglas Luiz. Now can they counter clinically? It's opening up for them. Can he do it? And begging to be put away. He had to score, and he does. Well, let's take another look. Yeah, he won't get an easier finish than that. The defending was all over the place, though. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Evans won it back Coutinho Suarez Suarez well diving magnificently to make sure he got there there has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes and now both sides will make personnel switches He's driven in the corner. Splendid defending. Ten minutes to go. Firing is in. Just made sure nothing came of that. And close, but offside nonetheless. Here it is now. A substitution. Number 10, James Madison. Coming onto the pitch, number 14, Kelechi Iannaccio. Well, shortly we'll hear the final whistle. The home side with the lead. Stuart, what have you made of this? Well, their attacking play has been excellent today. However, by throwing so many players forward, they've looked vulnerable at the back, which is why this will be a nervy finish. They just need to hold on here. Determined defending. There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes left, and the margin just one. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Tielemans. Well, still time for them to level it. Well, he tried in vain to get himself back on side. Well, he needs to show greater awareness there and hold on to the ball a fraction longer. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Take it away. Suarez. Well, it all counts for naught. And the referee is going to add on four added minutes. And intercepts again. Getting forward. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. Well, the free kick needed to be a lot better than that. Straight into the wall. A corner then. And with time running out, they've got to ask questions.
Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, full marks to him for that header, but the goalkeeper did his job. Well, they'll try to keep the pressure on in the form of another corner. And that will do it. The final whistle is sounded, and it goes into the books as a win for Aston Villa. What did you make of it? Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win. Already no complaints whatsoever about his performance in this game, Stuart. Well, I enjoyed watching him today. His work rate, skill and movement were excellent, and he fully deserved to score that winning goal.